Hey guys, in this video we want to convert a number in base 10 to binary. So more specifically we want to convert the number 8 in base 10 to a number in binary which is base 2. So here are the steps that we can use to do that. In step 1 we want to divide the number in base 10 by 2. And then step 2 we want to write down the quotient and the remainder. In step 3 if the quotient is less than or equal to 0 then we want to write the remainders in reverse and then that's our answer. Else, if the quotient is not less than or equal to zero, then we want to go back to step one, replace the number in base 10 with the current quotient and repeat steps one, two, and three. So let's go ahead and get started with this example we have here. So step one, we want to divide the number in base 10 by two. So our number is eight. And we want to divide that number by 2. So that's 8 divided by 2. And then step 2, we want to write down the quotient and the remainder. So the quotient is 4. And the remainder, I'm going to say R for remainder, is 0 because it divides evenly. Now we're going to go to step 3. If the quotient is less than or equal to 0, then we're going to do this step here where we write down the remainders in reverse order. But it's not. Our quotient is 4. And 4 is greater than 0. So we're going to go to this else statement here. Else, go back to step 1. And we're going to replace the number in base 10 with the current quotient. And repeat steps 1, 2, and 3. So now, we're going to go back to step 1. And we replace the number 8 with the number 4. That's our quotient now, 4. So we have 4 divided by 2. We go back to step 2. We write down the quotient and the remainder. So this gives me 2 with a remainder of 0. We go to step 3. We check to see if the quotient is less than or equal to 0. Well, our quotient is 2 now. So it's greater than 0. So we want to go back to step 1 and replace the number in base 10 with the current quotient and repeat steps 1, 2, and 3. So now we're going to replace the number 4 with 2, and we want to go back to step 1. So you do 2 divided by 2. That gives us 1 with the remainder of 0. Again, now uh, that was step 2 that we just wrote down the quotient and the remainder. We want to check if the quotient is less than or equal to 0. Well, no, the quotient is 1. So we want to go back to step 1, replace the number in base 10 with the current quotient, and repeat steps 1, 2, and 3 again. So now we replace the 2 with the 1 and we get 1 divided by 2. Now we go to step 2 again. We want to write down the quotient and the remainder and our quotient is 0 and our remainder is 1. So now we go to step 3 and we check to see if the quotient is less than or equal to 0. Yes, the quotient is 0 this time. So then we want to write down the remainders in reverse and that should be our answer. So here are all of our remainders. If I write it down reverse, I start off with the 1. I get 1. Then I go to the 0 here. And the 0 here. And then the 0 here. And this is my answer. So this is the number 8 in base 2, also known as binary. So thank you guys, and be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.